Hello. This is the Big Block Modifieds at Volusia Speedway Park. I was going to do the 358 Modifieds first this week, but I, for some reason I thought it started on the hour and not on the half hour, so I missed it. So I signed up for this instead because I wanted to get a race in tonight. And I had been doing Arca first, but I don't even own that track yet. I want to get some practice in on it, so I'll have to fit it in sometime later this week. I haven't had much luck in these races lately. I'm finding the track harder to drive fresh than I did uh, on a slick track, which might be a good thing. Maybe it means I'm getting better with slick. Can any uh, party hear me out there? This is so loud. I might have to turn it down a little bit. Hello. Can anyone uh, hear me out there? Gotcha. Yeah, thanks about it. Can just be something wrong with my um headgear, I don't know. Man, that was happening with me earlier. I think I racing might be having a problem now that you say that. That's the end of the session. P5. That's way too loud in my ears right now. Oh, okay. Alright, P five. That's good. I got into another Just kidding. Uh, race and it was fine. All right, we're going to qualify. I don't anticipate a good spot. I didn't really look. It looks like I'm the number eight car. I don't know how many are in the field. There's 50 or so people signed up. So... Oh. It might have split into three races. I don't know what the max field for this is. It took me a few minutes of running before I could keep it out of the walls. But I seem to have gotten that under control. But here's hoping... Uh, Here's hoping that keeps up. 17.8 well, is awful, and this isn't, I mean, slightly better, although it's getting worse. There's the green we want to see, but it's going down. Yeah, that's not going to be good. Not going to be good. But the key is going to be surviving all the crap, I think. 17.1 is on pull. I'm dead last right now of anyone who's put on a lap. And it's not even close. Not even close. Before I skip, looks like we've got 15 cars. So I'm pretty much in the middle. Goes from 1,600 down to 800. So this might be bottom split. I doubt. Yeah, I doubt there's any. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'll see you at grid up. All right. I am back. I ended up in a better lap than two people. I'm hoping, hoping that this race can be as clean as it can be and that I can keep it clean. I got third place, I think, in my big block race last week. Four laps down. Terrible race. Just attrition got me back up to that spot. I don't... I'd rather get last place in a clean race than third place in a caution fest. We got 50 laps. I believe a 45 minute time limit. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. Yeah, I'm uh, not sure. This week I'll be able to run the trucks and the Xfinity again, so that'll be nice. Tour mods are at Bristol. Maybe I'll run that. I just discovered uh, late models, had a blast in that race, 
I'll probably run that. Obviously, I'll run Arca at some point. Mr. Croft, are you going to make me 350 jump, at odds? Jump. Follow car number 11 in the inside column. I might run the Mazdas again because I see they're at. Race hard and keep it clean, boys. Oh my god, go. I see the Mazdas are at the track, the road course that Arca is doing this season. So it would be a good, sh good chance to learn the track. Obviously, the Mazdas and the Arca car are going to behave completely differently on said track, but at least I would learn the layout and get it kind of in my head. So uh, I do like the idea of running the Mazdas, but it's probably not going to be an every week thing. But it might be a this week thing because of that. All right. We've got yeah, some, we got a prang already. Got some great pacing going on here. Just hope this is somewhat fun. I want I want these cars, these races to be good because I really love driving this car. But it really relies on everyone giving it an honest go to have a good race. If you just throw it in there regardless of where anyone else is at, you're just going to have a crap show. Kind of a shitty start. I don't know what the 11's deal is. Sorry for the S bomb. <laughs> Ugh. I try not to swear in these videos, but as someone who swears in their day to day activities, it just slips out sometimes. This 11 is. They out qualified me, but it makes you wonder how. <laughs> and I just lost the spot because I'm uh, trying not to hit anyone. Oh, the car just drifted down on me there. All right, let's settle in. I'm just going backwards like, like it's my job. Way up high, not where you want to run. Well, I don't have to worry about getting dive bombed by being in literal last place. Remember when I was complaining that the 11 was going too slow? Now oh, they're half a straight ahead of me. All right. It's time to settle in. Time to settle in. Should have been time sooner than that, but... This will be the race that everyone runs clean, and I don't... Yeah. I'm getting too squirrely on the straights. Probably getting too much gas in it, believe it or not. Sorry, buddy. Now, way to go. I, uh... P12. The car kind of ghosted out, but it still gave me the 2x for plowing through it. Alright. I have a chance to maybe uh, do better this time. Hey, I gotta watch. Gotta watch the pit. This has got a more conventional pitting type thing. But yeah, last week I had the embarrassment of not being able to figure out how to pit for my black flag that I got for jumping the start. I vowed that I wouldn't let that happen again. I would scout out the pitting, but looks like you just enter there and you go find your flaggy guy. I think what happened is I just came in, obviously I came in the pit road wrong and then I was facing him the wrong way. I think. I later figured out what I probably was supposed to have done, but honestly, I don't think I would have gotten any more positions. I would have still been at least some laps down, and the only two people on the lead lap, or the only two people that finished ahead of me anyway, and I would not have been on the lead lap, so. I'm not particularly proud of how I started this race. I got a little flustered by the 11's erraticism, and then... Kind of new to this. What's the, uh, I entered a closed pit. I don't have a black, but it says post-race. What does that mean? Am I getting black flagged after the race, or am I getting, like, a time penalty? Well, 
I don't have voice chat. Push to talk enabled, but I don't really know the answer to that. I don't know, buddy. I'm the problem with that. Are we just going to not go again when it's green? I don't get that. If I was the leader, I would take advantage of my uh, prerogative to go when I want and get a jump. And then we get all bunched up because of it. I got nowhere to go on some of these runs. Our pie spun around. Caution's out. Don't get rid of from behind, please. Thank you, guys. All right. I don't like cautions after two laps, but I feel like I did a little better in that tiny little run. Just got to keep the car clean. So, yeah. I might have a lot of races on my channel this week. Last week, I was worried that I wouldn't have that many because I wasn't going to run the two series that I had been running. But then I did ARCA twice. There were tour mods in there that I don't often do. For Ricky Mazdas, which I had never done. Late models, which I had never done. And all of a sudden, I had to put two videos out today. I usually try to just have one a day. It's like crazy. Tour mod race. Uh, who are you talking to there, Bobby Gerald? Probably me. So let's see, I should be starting on the outside this time. If I'm a little quiet, it's because my daughter's asleep. I usually don't run these races when she's here, but this is the only way I was going to get a race in today. I uh, will run some tomorrow when she's at school, probably. Inside line. I don't understand how I can be tenth and drive the inside line. I guess what? I guess I'm not actually tenth. It doesn't update under these cautions. I'm probably because I see six, eight, nine. I don't see seven. So well, now we see it. I don't know. I think that's what's going on though. Now that I think about it. So I just got to pay attention to where it tells me to go. This is some good pacing we got going on here. Uh, I already know this is going to be a slow, stupid, bunched up start. Oh, he kind of went. Who did I get in contact with someone? Didn't even feel it if I did, but I saw the little. Uh, I'm running a bad line here. Okay. I don't mind if somebody's beside me, but I had a feeling I was going to go through by this. Oh, here we are again, just giving up all the spots we got. I don't like being up high on this track. Alright. P11, not good, but let's settle in and run some... Not terrible laps. You've just done a 17.1, which you're going to slap in this session. Someone underneath me. And now I see them. Running up here is not good. Alright. Back to where mostly in last. Wow. Alright. Went 
backwards on that run. But people keep crashing. Sorry, Honestly, I'm okay with how this has gone for the most part. Even though I'm going backwards. I'm getting some practice racing. and We've had a few green runs. Not like I would like, but... Pacing. It's always an adventure. Alright. I'm probably actually 10th now? I don't know. It doesn't update because you can see 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 8th places. Whoever thinks an 8th is not there, I don't think it updates since these laps aren't officially counting. So just pay attention to where it tells me to go. Don't just drive where I think I gotta go, and we should be fine. The sevens deal is. People. People and their things. Yep, I was right. I was actually on the outside. Let me on the outside there, buddy. Dude, thank you. God. I'm not very talkative right now. I apologize. I don't know if that's good or bad. People who watch me, they want to hear me talk. I don't know what to talk about. I am having fun. I hope it doesn't seem like I'm not. What the fuck are you doing? You cut down on me, dude. Yeah, but still, mate, you, you know if I'm blinking a little bit. Did this sky guy oh, you're in my race one my other day? Fault. Yeah, my bad, my bad. I didn't even see you until you were across my nose, bud. I feel like I remember the accent and the name. Uh, sorry about that, man. Yeah, there's, honestly, dude, there's nothing I could do there. Yeah, I understand, mate. I'm oh, sorry. Well, that was getting hostile and then turned apologetic. I don't know. I didn't. I'm better off back here blinking anyway. I did not see how that went down. I really don't like that we're only on lap 17. This is kind of taking a long time. I do would like to get to bed. I wanted to get a Monday race in. I really wanted to do 358 miles because that would have I would have been done already. I wish I would have been paying attention. I was gonna get on half an hour early, and I went and like 58 or some number like that signed up. I'm like in the first minute. And I'm like, oh crap, it's literally going now. I wouldn't have signed up even if I had caught it with a minute to go. <clears throat> it's 15, 7. Everybody's like, it's like they don't know where to go. Just read. As long as I don't pass <laughs> too early like I did last week, that was just. I mean, if I'm complaining about these starts, these are just amazing compared to what was going on in that race. Outside, B7, clear outside. Uh, don't go in like that. You're going to cause problems. You're going to be not predictable. Hello, Seven. Clear outside. 
Mm. Get under control. I have to watch the replay on that. I mean, really? In my opinion, he got way too sideways. Okay, Justin, the next car is Scott. He obviously doesn't think that. And he might be right. Is it going to give me all my spots back? Apparently. You got to go around then. That's the three also. Am I really this far up? Past the 10? Past the 1? Oh, you're not going to put me in front? I'm up to... Okay, so I got two Good exits. Luck, fellas. I'm getting off. I'm blinking too much and getting you away. I don't know. I mean... I'm not going to get down on myself until I see that replay. It felt like, you know, I, I mean, I have to put my car somewhere, right? Nah. Is now I don't know. I should be able to count cars here. One, two, three, four, five. So I should be on the inside. That car just swerved down into the wall for no particularly great reason. Oh, this is the guy that... Well, I haven't seen him blink, but everyone else was saying he was blinking. Seven's probably mad at me, so I gotta watch out for that if it comes down to it. No, the four's not the car that was blinking. Never mind. The guy that just disconnected, I think, was the blinker. I don't know why I thought the four was his number. Car high, clear high, B5. Got a car outside. Clear outside. Ugh. Got worried I was going to just throw it in there on him. Did I hit that guy? God dang. I don't know. I probably did. Maybe I'm a hazard out here and need to rethink my choices on what races I run. I'm not going to rule that out as a possibility, but I'm really just causing problems out here. This is going to be a bad run. Okay, I got it under control. If you don't want to be coming out a certain way and then stop the gas, it'll just take you right into the wall. I wish I could just consistently run the lap I want. What's your best lap in this session? Halfway home. Oh, that sucks. Just kidding. I'm having a great time. That lap time was 17.2. These guys are all running away from me. Uh, 
I see someone spinning back there. I don't want that. I don't want a yellow. Stay green. Apparently they listened. too hot okay you just gotta no one to not be in the gas with these cars and that's more often than you would think I don't know I'm catching these guys and holding being held up now by a little bit I just don't trust myself to pass them correctly like God, I, I barely kept that off him and that would have been my fault even though he kind of got more sideways than I was expecting. It's kind of a... It takes the pressure off me a little bit. Now I can try to reel him in again without having to worry about hitting him. Well, I have four seconds behind me. That being said, I would like to just be better at doing such things. This is a fun track. I ran this in the 358s last week. 358s is so much less powerful that it was just a whole different experience. That was at the gap to cross in front is now not Yeah, I'm definitely faster than these two by the fact that I lost so much time to them. The gap behind is now and now I'm back up to them. I would like to pass them but I gotta do it clean. When you're in here in the slick, you gotta just be super careful on the throttle. That was way too sideways. I prefer up here, it's just better for me. But, oh, a little screwy there. I think the four is going to run wherever I am, maybe, to try to block me. Or, not block me, but... He's doing nothing wrong right now. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. He might be adapting the line based on what I'm driving. Although, right now, I'm not really a threat. I'm kind of falling back again. Yeah, I'm, I'm suddenly not able to keep up with him. getting two sideways coming out of this corner. I see 4.2 behind me, so nothing to fear back there. Probably unless the yellow catches everyone up. I do want to watch all the stuff to see how much I caused. Did he hit the wall? He either didn't or it didn't affect him. Red car hit the wall. Is that the lapper that I see him up? Please stay. I don't know where he is. Is that the seven? Oh, the seven's on now. That's the car I may have taken out, so I gotta be careful with that. Part of me is part of me's like, you know, he's after this long run, I'm coming around on him again, meaning, you know, he's got issues with consistency I have definitely lost the guys that was potentially battling so I'm, I'm just okay with uh, finishing this out in fifth I don't want to see a yellow at all I don't particularly want to try to pass the seven either so if he keeps it going I'm just gonna not give him an opportunity to do something Absolutely don't want to take him out again either. I mean, he's struggling. 
problem is I don't know if he's just going to cut. Oh, there he is. All right. Problem solved. Don't go yellow, dude. Stay going. If this goes yellow, I'll probably lose like five spots in the restart. All right. Still got to... I mean, I don't have any threat from behind, but it'd be nice to run competent laps just to say you can. Wow, I fall off hard to these guys. Part of it is slicking up, and I'm probably just giving it way too much gas. That's part of learning these cars. Out of fuel, out of fuel. Out of fuel? Oh yeah, I guess this isn't... This is open. You can put on as much fuel in as you want. P5. Okay, it's over. Good drive. I'm pretty happy with this. I don't know how much problems I caused out there. First thing is, is anyone bitch at me? Not so far. All right. I ended up 4.9 behind the leader, and but that was a good. That was a really good. Uh, a lot of fun, guys. Green run at the end there. Probably my best in the big blocks ever. So what am I doing? Laps. Let's. Ouch. Is that the car I... Yeah, I... I had miles to avoid that, and I didn't. Oh! Three wide and 15 paid. Yeah. my accident coming up. I, it was... Oh, yeah, there was one that just uh, was immediate. That must be it. So I'm guessing this next one is, yeah, behind the seven. Hmm. Now that I see it again, I think that might be... I mean, he's coming down, but I'm coming up way more than I thought. Yeah, it's not as egregious as I thought, and very well. It's one of those things. I feel bad. I didn't do it on purpose, that's for sure. That guy's not still here, is he? Nope. All right. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to rule out the fact that he might have damage causing him to struggle there due to my hit, too. So I don't want to be like, well, feel justified by how slow he went for that last run. I'm not going to be that guy. I do know that I fell back from that top four, then I gained on him, then I fell back again. Oh, that's where I, uh, we must be getting close to the end of the race. <coughs> Excuse me. I, overall, you know, that was the thing. I'm not beating myself up over too much. I mean, if that was the worst thing that happened in one of these dirt races, it would be pretty good. Three ran out of fuel, but that wasn't a free position for me because he was behind me, I think. That was after the race. He just did that on purpose, which may have given him X's. Not my problem, though. All right. I had fun. That was the best 
I mean, not a shining example of dirt racing, but it was the best big block modified race that I have participated in. So, yeah. Sorry if my energy seemed down and I'm a little quiet. Like I said, it's late. I worked at 3.30 a.m. this morning. It's 10.30 p.m. right now. I'm pretty much going to start this upload and go to bed. And my daughter is asleep. She can hear hear me if I get too loud. And she needs to get up for school. So, Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.